I'm a little late to the party, but I wanted to make a quick review of this game called The Finals because of how unique and interesting this game is. I think it deserved to get its own video on my channel. So this game is a 3v3v3 shooter. The main mode, Quick Cash, involves players rushing to a cash cube, waiting for it to unlock, and then escorting it to the deposit box. The first team to do this wins. This mode is really cool because it starts as a race to the first hard point, tests which team can hold it the best, and then it turns it into an extraction shooter. And once the cube is unlocked, other teams can try to steal the cube at any point until it is fully deposited. So there's always an opportunity to win, even if you are behind. The other mode is Bank It. This mode is similar to Quick Cash in that it's also a 3v3v3 death skirmish to deposit the most money, but this time there are no cash cubes for players to carry around. Instead, players collect money tokens which are passively held and deposited to vaults that spawn and despawn across the map. Like Quick Cash, players can also steal from each other, and this is achieved via kills and then physically walking over the money tokens like in Call of Duty's Kill Confirmed mode. Both of these modes are excellent because they reward teamwork and killing people while punishing death and not helping with the objective, and the time limits in these modes incentivize acting fast while also giving players time to kill one another over the objective, and this leads to a very frantically paced and engaging gameplay loop. There's also um, some more competitive modes, there's like a tournament mode where it starts with 3v3v3v3 v3 v3 and then teams get eliminated leading to the finals once you qualify. So that's another cool mode. And, and that's usually just quick cash for the record. So, you know, I'm putting this in the script after the fact. But yeah, I have to mention the tournament modes. I can't just talk. I play the casual modes, you know, you know, OK, we're going to go back on the script. <laughs> Besides the structure of the game modes, the actual gameplay itself compounds this frantic design, mainly with its destructible environments. And it leads to a very polished experience while at the same time being extremely random. Most buildings in these maps are completely destructible and the destruction is extremely detailed, allowing players to climb on debris and make or block different pathways. This can be used to bury deposit boxes in the rubble so other players can't try to steal it. And you can just move things around and it's really, really fun. It's hype as fuck to be on the point as shit's getting blown open and you're falling through the floor of a collapsing building while you're in a shootout with several other players. I mean, when I say this, like, I just don't think another game has given me this sense of intensity in such a long while. Besides the exciting stuff, the gameplay offers players a variety of choices as to how they engage in combat. You have a light, medium, and heavy class, and each class can have a custom loadout with abilities and gadgets that are unique to them. Depending on your build, you can take up the role of a spy, a sniper, engineer, medic, tank, or some weird hybrid. I'm very interested to see the variety of builds that people can make as this game gets bigger. While this game is inherently competitive enough to appeal to the more hardcore audiences, I think it's accessible enough for more casual players with nearly any playstyle being viable in this game. Since this game is so objective based, getting kills isn't necessarily a requirement to win. Teamwork and plays made for the objective, such as distracting another team, are what will allow players to succeed in their matches. So even if you're on a lower skill level and you can't get all those kills, you can still contribute to your team's success and have fun in the spectacle while you do it. Moving on to some other things I want to talk about with this game is the AI voice acting. The announcers in this game use AI to generate various lines on the fly and commentate on what players are doing as the game progressive. Personally, I think this is a really cool feature. I like the use of the technology here, and it makes me feel like I'm in an intense sci-fi game show. I tried doing a little bit of research on this, but there's not that much I've been able to find as of now. The game still apparently uses professional voice actors and the AI voices are based on real voices as well. I speculate that the voice actors consented to have their voices used as a base for this, similar to things like Siri or a GPS voice. But like I said, a lot is still unknown 
And maybe we will see a scandal with voice actors coming out and feeling like, you know, they've been exploited. But I really hope that's not the case. And right now, there's just not enough information for me to have a true opinion on it. But, you know, at, at first glance, I think it's kind of cool, interesting, unique way to utilize this technology that I haven't really seen in a game before. And so I very much appreciate that innovation. With Embark Studios' embrace of the new technology like AI speech to text, they're also running this game in Unreal Engine 5, making this game look very stunning and allowing for those advanced destruction physics. This does lead to there being a bit to desire from optimization. Recording, streaming, and running my VTuber model while playing this game uh, makes me have to turn my settings down often. And yeah, there's there's some performance issues, some crashing, but the actual video game is very polished and runs really well most of the time. So I'm hoping that the game runs better as time moves on. Overall, I think the finals is an excellent free to play game. I'm glad the microtransactions are cosmetic only and the game's mainly focused on delivering a satisfying and intense gameplay experience. The destruction is top of the line for a multiplayer shooter, and the gunplay is really tight. The modes are innovative, and I just, I truly hope that this game becomes something big, because I think it's really something special here, and I'm just fiending to play more of this shit, honestly. So, hope you enjoyed this review, ch uh, not review channel, review video. It's a different type of thing than from what I normally do, but... You know, I, I gave a shot at it. Let's see how it goes. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you all in the next one.